This is the video on understanding integers. Please make sure you have your graphic organizer with you and ready to go to take notes as we go. The first thing we're going to talk about today about integers is some important vocabulary words and definitions you need to know. The first word is integer. Well, an integer is any counting number, their opposites, and zero. Now you need to keep in mind that there are both positive integers and negative integers. And if you look down at our number line, you can see that on the right side of zero are the positive integers, and on the left side of zero are the negative integers. Opposites are numbers that are the same distance from zero. Six and negative six are opposites, because they are both six units away from zero. Down here I do want you to take notice of another special message. It says zero is neither positive nor negative, and the opposite of zero is zero. Another vocabulary word that's important for you to know is absolute value. Absolute value of an integer is its distance away from zero. Now, distance is always going to be positive. For example, the absolute value of 6 is written as this, and you have the two bars around it. That shows you absolute value. And 6 is 6 spaces away from 0, so the absolute value of 6 is 6. Now, the absolute value of negative 6 is written like this with the bars around it, but it, the absolute value is still 6 because negative 6 is still 6 units away from 0. So the absolute value of 6 and the absolute value of negative 6 are actually the same number because they're both the same distance away from 0. Let's review how to read some of these. The first one we're going to go through is right here and we read that as negative 3. The next looks like this and you read that as the opposite of negative 3. And what is the opposite of negative 3? It would be 3. The last one, the absolute value of negative 3. And what do you think that would be? It would also be 3. Remember, the opposites are the, the, the numbers that are also the same distance away from zero, and the absolute value is the distance away from zero. Let's see if we can practice some of these together. What we want to do here is list the integer for each point, and then after that we want to name its opposite and its absolute value. So let's do A first. A is right here. And if you notice the integer, it is on positive integer for 7. Now, the next step is to list its opposite. Its opposite is the number that is the same distance away from 0 on the other side of 0. So it would be negative 7. And the absolute value of 7, which we would write like this, is... 7. It is 7 units away from 0. Okay, let's do... Um, the next one is B. The integer, the point that that dot is on, is 2. The opposite of 2 on the other side of 0 would be negative 2. And the absolute value of this 2 is 2. It is 2 units away from 0. Okay, the next one we're going to do is C. If you look on the number line, that point is on negative 5. The opposite of negative 5 is this, the point that is the same number of units away from 0, but on the other side. So that would be 5. And the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, because negative 5 is 5 units away from 0. And let's do D. 
D, that point, the integer for that point is negative 9. The opposite of negative 9 is 9. And the absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Please make sure you stop the video so you can write all these notes out before you go on. We're going to review that real quick and a couple, about four more questions for practice. Uh, what we need to do is write the opposite and the absolute value of each integer. First one we're going to do that is number one and it's five. So what would the opposite of five be? It would be negative five. And what is the absolute value of five? It would also be five. Number two, what is the opposite of negative seven? Well, it would be seven. And the absolute value of negative seven would be seven. Number three, negative 10. The opposite of negative 10 would be 10. And the absolute value of negative 10 is 10. Remember that absolute value is the distance from zero, and that is always going to be positive. Number four is eight. The opposite of eight is negative eight. And the absolute value of eight is eight. So I'm sure you've figured out by now that if I asked you what is the absolute value of five, negative five, and what's the absolute value of five, you're going to realize that they're both equal to each other. The absolute value of negative five is five, and the absolute value of positive five is five. So they would be the same. Please make sure you write all these notes, and if you have any questions, make note of them, and you can ask me in class when we discuss this together. And the secret word for today is Mr. Green. Please write that in the top right-hand corner of your graphic organizer.